and when the game winds down, many people will hit the roads and crash rates tend to spike. 22 News reporter Kiara Smith shares a look at how you can be safe when heading back home on the road after the game tonight. You shouldn't drink and drive. It's Super Bowl Sunday and millions of Americans are pumped up with their family and friends ready to watch the Kansas City Chiefs take on the San Francisco 49ers. But as exciting as game day is, it can be one of the most dangerous days on the road as people drink and celebrate throughout the night. Massachusetts data over the last five years shows that there are 56% more crashes that result in injuries on the night of the Super Bowl. The data also shows that 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. is when these accidents tend to happen. One Springfield resident told 22 News that it's important to avoid drunk driving. He says people need to be safe and responsible on the roads. You shouldn't drink and drive. We should have somebody designated, especially now with the way traffic is in Springfield. <laughs> you got people flying all over the place. According to the National Highway Administration, in 2021, more than 13,000 traffic deaths involved drunk driving. And if you get caught driving while under the influence, you will get pulled over, arrested, and prosecuted. And it doesn't stop there. The administration says the average DUI court case can cost you about $10,000. So before you leave your destination after the game, safety officials say party hosts should make sure their guests have a plan for a sober ride home before serving them alcohol. Working for you, Kiara Smith, 22 News.